Test 3 Review number 11. Here we have two different sets of parentheses being raised to a power. And on the inside, because everything in the parentheses is being multiplied together, that means that this exponent will be given to each factor. And that's one of the power rules for exponents. Again, everything here is being multiplied together, so the power goes to each factor. Now what I usually like to do with these kinds of problems is figure out the final sign first and then we can ignore the sign afterwards. So if I look at this first parentheses, I have a minus sign that's being squared. That gives me a minus times a minus. Two minuses plus out. So I have a positive. Anytime you have an even exponent on the outside, the negative signs are going to cancel out and you'll always get a positive. Next guy we have an odd number of five on the outside, so we have five minus signs together. Every two of them cancel out, so we're left with one negative. Anytime you have an odd exponent on the outside, you'll always get a negative if you have a minus sign on the inside, because every two are going to cancel out and you'll always have one left over. Now our final result is going to have a plus times a minus, so we're going to have a negative for the final answer and now we can just look at the variables. So let's start with the r squared in the first parentheses. r squared raised to the second power, power to power, multiply the exponents. Same with the s, s squared <coughs> squared again, multiply the exponents and we get s to the fourth, times the result of the second parentheses, r cubed to the fifth, <coughs> power to power, so I multiply the exponents and same with the s s to the 3 times 5 is s to the 15. So we've taken care of the power rules and now we can take a look and see if we have like bases being multiplied together and we do. We have an r and an r, s and s. Like bases being multiplied, we're going to add the exponents using the product rule. So the minus sign just tags along and then we do r, keep the base, add the exponents, 4 plus 15. Then s, keep the base, add the exponents, 4 plus 15 again. So our final answer is minus r to the 19, s to the 19.